Another example, given x3 and 4, 1 are equidistant to the origin, solve for x. So how are we gonna set this one up here? Hmm, well, this means that x3 to the origin, okay, distance formula with that, so x minus zero squared plus y, which is three minus zero squared, that should be equal to four, one to the origin. So four minus zero squared plus one minus zero squared, okay. So this here has x3 to the origin equal to four, one to the origin. So we have two distance formulas equal to each other. What the heck's gonna happen here? Well, once again, my first step can be to square on both sides, which ends up getting rid of all of our square roots. That's very convenient, right? Now, um, let's do some simplifications. I have x minus zero squared, so that's just x squared. I have three minus zero squared, so three squared is nine. On the other side, I have four minus zero squared, so that's four squared is 16. And then one minus zero squared, that's just one, all right? So things cleaned up pretty quickly here, it looks like. I've got uh, x squared plus nine equals 17. Now I only have a quadratic term and a linear term. So I can, again, use square roots to solve this one. But first I gotta set everything equal to, or put everything on one side except for the x squared. So I'm gonna have x squared equals, if I subtract nine, I get eight. So now that I have x squared equals eight, I got my x squared equals something, right? I'm gonna square root on both sides. So square root and square root. Now what I'm gonna get is x equals plus or minus the square root of eight. But in most math classes, we're gonna want you to break that down with a factor tree. So I'm gonna have to break down eight to two and four, two and two. Um, a lot of people do this differently, but I'm gonna circle my pairs of twos and I'm gonna have x equals plus or minus that pair of twos comes out as a two and then I'm left with two inside the radical. That's this guy right here is that one, all right? So there we go, there's my final answer. Plus or minus two root two, not a very pretty answer. It's just a little bit less than three, right? Because the square root of nine is three, so the square root of eight is a little less than three. So again, there's two possibilities here that would work to have both x3 and four one be the same distance to the origin. Equidistant means same distance. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know I enjoyed that one. It was awesome, it was epic, it was dope.